who's next on the promotion train? Looks like Gromit? Mr. Plain Vanilla Gromit? Yeah, the experts from Discord in the heavy metal death cult? Yeah? What about him, Bradford? I was just waiting to see if Heavy Metal Death Cult was some kind of historical evil thing I didn't know about, like the code name for Stalin's secret police or something. The NKVD? Yeah, they were super death cultish. It's actually HMDC. Huh? Heavy Metal Death Cult is HMDC. I don't know where you're getting the N or the K or actually the V or the D. Believe it or not, Bradford, I know how acronyms are formed. So what, you're saying we should rename Heavy Metal Death Cult to NKVD? What? Huh? No. Oh. NKVD was the name of Stalin's secret police during the Red Terror. Uh, okay. They were the ones that rounded up and threw millions into the gulags. Right. So, what does that have to do with Gromit or the heavy metal death cult? Nothing. Then why are you talking about him? You brought it up. I did? You're exhausting. That's rude. I'm just trying to understand. <sighs> you know, Stalin purging the officer corps and sending them all to the gulag, he might have been onto something. Maybe we should just get started on the promotion. It's time on XCOM War Stories! We're gonna learn a lot more about Gromit, everyone's favorite gunner from the Heavy Metal Death Cult. Why? Cause that's XCOM, baby! Specialist Gromit, it's my pleasure to inform you that you are being promoted to Lance Corporal. Oh, not sure I deserve that, but great! Gromsies. I can call you Gromsies, right? I mean, usually only my closest friends. Great. So, Gromsies, I was looking over your file. Oh, I have a... What did it say? It says you're a bit of an outlier as far as XCOM soldiers go. Can I see my file, or...? Nah. Okay. Look, most of the soldiers we've inherited are dumped on us by their home nations because they're... How do I say this? Idiotic? Yeah, but... Insane. No... Let's go with interesting. Sure, okay. They get dumped on us, but almost all of them are sent here from active duty military service. It looks like you've been out of the U.S. Army for almost a decade. That's true. You picked up a law degree after leaving the service and worked as a corporate attorney? Yeah, that's also true. You're like a functional adult, Gromit. What the hell are you doing here? Like, what was my journey to XCOM? Yeah. Well, first off, I hated being a lawyer. That's the first thing you gotta know. That makes sense. Just a corporate zombie, dead inside. Most days, the only feeling that could pierce the numb self-loathing was like this nauseous panic that would bubble up inside of me as I'd commute into the office. Existential dread. Nice. Yeah, so one day I'm driving into the office and panic starts to set in and when I get to my freeway exit, I just kept driving. Huh. I wonder if I could push Bradford to that point. But I like to run word associations with my soldiers. I say a word, you say the first word that comes to mind, okay? Sure, okay. Liar. Uh, hell. Office. Can I say hell again? Risk. Reward. Gambling. Alive. Headshot. Crypto. Robot. Corporate. Vegas. Craps. Well, I just kept driving and driving. I didn't stop until I got to Vegas. Vegas, baby. I got fixated on this idea of betting my life savings on a single wager. I figured if I could hit, I wouldn't have to go back to my soul-crushing day job. And if I didn't, I could just become a hobo, start riding the rails from town to town. Man, you really hated that job. It was the worst. Anyway, I wandered around the casino for a couple of hours with a pathetically small amount of chips tucked under my arm, looking for my spot. Which casino? Mandalay Bay. Oh, hell yeah. I'm walking around trying to find the right table, trying to feel the energy. Sure, it's a big decision. There's this craps table going nuts, and I get the feeling this is the table. You know anything about craps? No, but I see this guy throwing dice. Everyone's high-fiving him, slapping him on the back. He's even got this little old lady with an oxygen tank sitting next to him, blowing on the dice. He's having the time of his life. Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what I thought. This is my guy. So I step up to the table... And this high flyer sees me and says, I'm on fire, son. 99% chance to hit. Easy money. Trust me. Damn. Confidence. Right. So I'm about to place my bet on this guy, but his comment about the 99% thing rings in my ears. 
didn't feel right. Dude. Then I see the payouts on the green filth. Dude. 31 to 1 if this guy rolls a pair of ones. Dude, you didn't bet for the shooter to crap out. Yeah, I did. Jeez. And when I placed my chips, it felt like the whole casino went silent. Waitresses stopped in their tracks. Even the slot machine stopped making noise. The good time party guy looks at me through these glasses barely hanging on at the end of his nose. And then he looks back and says to the rest of the table, Behold, the Iceman cometh. Wow. What did you say? Nothing. I could barely make eye contact. I felt awful betting against the table. Yeah, you're supposed to. Anyway, he picks up the dice. The little old lady blows on him. He shoots. And I kid you not, snake eyes. Whoa! Crazy! I know. Best moment of my life. I wanted to jump up and down, scream my head off, but I gotta play it cool. People start cussing at me, threatening me. Little old lady threw her drink at me. Classic. So now I'm thinking, how am I gonna get out of here in one piece? But then the high flyer comes over and totally disarms the situation. He wasn't even pissed. He says, that took some balls. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, that's nice. And here's the kicker. Twist and turns. That guy? Let me guess. The father you never knew. What? Never mind. That would make more sense if you knew Ruiz and Gruber better. Who was the guy? Dr. Shen. No freaking way. So, Iceman, what are you going to do with all that money? I don't know. I knew this guy that struck it rich with Bitcoin, so maybe invest in some crypto? Oh. Maybe NFTs? You know what any of that stuff does? Uh, blockchain, decentralized, diamond hands, YOLO. Oh, pretty good. Sounds like you know about as much as everyone else. Yeah, look, this money represents freedom. I just gotta protect this nest egg. And what better way to do it than lighting it on fire and investing in crypto? Excuse me? I'm joking. I'm joking! To the moon, Grandpa. Listen, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Sounds like you've thought it all through. All I know is I can't go back to working as a corporate drone for another 30 years. I mean, seriously, if being a programmed robot is my destiny, there should at least be some option to transplant my head onto some kick-ass mech suit, right? Huh? At least make it easier to LARP 40k in the park. What'd you say? Oh, LARPing? I I'm just joking around. No. I don't really do that. No. Uh, that much. Before that, what did you say? Well, uh... Just that if society wants me to do some mind-numbing job, it would be better for me if I got turned into a cyborg or something. Interesting. What? I want to give you my card. Let's keep in touch. So what happened? You invested your fortune in crypto and it didn't work out? Well, I'd like to say it didn't work out yet. Right. You should actually take a look at this coin, Commander. It's going to blow up. Nice. Yeah, for sure. No, for reals. This is a ground floor opportunity. Gromit mm -hmm. Coin uses the decentralized blockchain oh boy. to provide digital ownership of XCOM kill shot footage. What? You can use Gromit Coin uh, to find- You know what? I'm going to stop you there. Uh, okay. So let me see if I can piece this together. You hated being a lawyer, so you gambled and won a small fortune that you immediately used to create your own crypto, which is never going to take off? There's some NFT stuff too, but yeah. So out of money and facing a return to a job you hated, you opted to call a guy you met at a casino. Yeah, Dr. Shen. And he invited you to come here to Cheyenne Mountain to join XCOM. When you say it like that, it, it sounds crazy, Jeez. but... I should have activated strict screening. On the next episode of XCOM War Stories, Dr. Shen does his very best Yoda impersonation. And that's how hollow targeting works. Congratulations, Gromit. Use it well in the field, soldier. Thanks. Although I still don't really understand how it knows what to target if I miss. Shut the hell up. It just works, okay? Fine. Fine. You given any more thought to the STLB protocols, Grummy? Smashing the like button? I think about it constantly. No, STLB. Sacrificing torsos, limbs, and bodies for science. You said you were going to think it over. No, I haven't given it more thought, Shen, and I'm not going to. Oh, the Iceman got what he wanted, and now he doesn't have to keep his end of the bargain. I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't commit to becoming a cyborg, Shen. That's crazy. You're such a gock tease, Gromit. Excuse me? You're such a bot tease. Oh, bot. 
I thought you said so. Yep, get an engineer all hot and bothered with promises of illicit, semi-legal robotic foreplay, and then leave him high and dry when it's time to get down to business. That's not what's happening here. Oh, yeah? So disgusting, man. Look, I made some offhand comment about dressing up as a space marine at Comic-Con. Don't try and make it sound cool. You said LARPing in the park like some unwashed incel nerd. Fine, whatever. The point is, I never said I actually wanted to become half man, half machine. Because you're scared. I'm not afraid. Uh Uh-huh. Sure. I'm not. Shen, I'm not afraid. Oh, you will be. You will be. Why are you talking like that? That's it for this week, my people. Now, before you head over to the XWS Discord to hang with your homies, answer these three questions in the comments below. Question one. Which actor are they gonna get to play Gromsies in the inevitable XCOM War Stories live action adaptation? Question two. You ever hated a job so much you would have let Shen chop your head off? And question three. Do you mod your XCOM save? And if so, which mods do you gotta have? Alright baby, I'll be reading.